Good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma, subscribe for hauls, vlogs and all sorts of other random things. So, in a video I did the other night um, where I showed off my amazing Bath & Body Works haul, which I'll leave above, and yes, I did film with like a bit of cream on the end of my nose, ugh. A few of you said you like my eye makeup, which one is like super ace, because generally I feel like I look like a mess, and two is brilliant because it gave me an idea to film a video for you today. So. I've got foundation stuff on. I will link a card above where I did like a 10 minute mum makeup so you'll be able to see what I do with all my foundation and um, concealer and all that lot because I've got a little bit of a big old spot there, hands covering it up. But I thought I would talk through my eyes. Now, a lot of the eye products I love, some of them I don't particularly love that much so I would love for you to leave in the comments a better suggestion for me to make it a little bit easier because some of the stuff's not that great but obviously because I'm stuck in the house it's what I use. So we will start off with the thing that I've instantly forgotten. It's not very good like I keep them in these little... These little tubs are great they're from Urban Decay. No, Urban Outfitters but you put a pencil through and it just goes... So great but only great for things that aren't like pencil shape so I have got this now this is urban decay and it's eyeshadow primer potion anti-aging like I don't know why I got the anti-aging one when I'm 21 I think we all know why I got the anti-aging one so this saved my life changed my life made my life easier because it actually means your eyeshadow stays on your eyes and doesn't end up on your cheeks so it might seem a little bit expensive but it's really, really well worth it. So the first thing I do is, and this little mirror is from Matalan, by the way. So the first thing I do is just pop a little bit on my lids like that. Only a little touch. And then rub it in. When you, um, when you go to buy it, see if they'll put some samples in as well, which is really good for going on your holidays. So that's quite a good little top tip from, from me. So put that in. The next thing I do is kind of just brush my brows to make sure that they're not crazy and wild. And I then use Archery, an Archery pencil. This one is a little bit bashed because I've had it for ages from Soap and Glory. I'll try and link below where you can get all this stuff. And this is not like a powder one. This is just one that I just draw on my eyebrows. Does that make sense? So I'll do that now. Because I'm quite fair, I don't need my eyebrows to be that dark. And obviously because my hair's natural. <coughs> Next thing I use to make sure my eyebrows stay in place and don't go like, like that. I use Brow This Way, which is from Rimmel, which is really super cheap in clear. Um, so I just put that on my brows. There. And there. And that should hold it in place so that's nice and simple the next thing i cannot recommend this product enough i am obsessed with eyeshadow eyeshadow palettes like i have loads i've got the naked palettes i've got the Too faced palettes anything that somebody brings out that's a palette that's ridiculously expensive i need it then I went on holiday and then I bought this for like eight euros and it's Revolution and it's called Girl Panic. I'm not sure if they still do the Girl Panic, but all the colours seem the same anyway. You can get it in Boots and you can get it in, I think, in Superdrug. You might even be able to get it online and it is the best. This is the one I use where everyone goes, ooh, what colours are you using? So if we have a little look at this one here, it is... Um, like pinky tones. I have seen a few online that are, are really autumnal with loads and loads of different brands. So the shimmy one's the top and the matte one's on the bottom. I don't know if it's appropriate for a 38 eight year old woman, but I like shimmery stuff. Does this make me a princess? I don't know, but I like shimmery eyeshadow. So what I do is I take a kind of slim brush. I don't know what make this is. Oh, Barbara Daly. I don't know who Barbara Daly is, but like a little one. And what I do is I pick a brown colour. So the brown colour I'm going to go for is this one down here. And then I just, I'm just going to put it all in the crease of my lids. So I just add it on like that. And just work it up a little bit. Like that, not too much. If I was going on like an out-out, night out, which obviously, what, 
twice a year. <laughs> I probably put a little bit more on than I am now. But I just add that on. And then I also put a little bit on the ends, a little bit on the ends of my um, eyelid. Okay, ta-da! The next thing I do is I take a bigger brush, and this is a real Net Techniques brush, and these are absolutely brilliant. Um, try and get them in the boots, and they usually do fee for two, or at Christmas they do nice sets. And then I always go for the palest colour, which is this one here, and I just do that above kind of where I've put the, the brown stuff. So on the, I don't know what this part of your eye is called. Brow line, is that right? Brow bone? Bone brow? I don't know. So I just do that on the above, on the above bit. Now I take another brush, and this is from one of my Naked palettes, and I just like it, but you can get any kind of smaller brush. And um, I'm gonna go for this kind of beigey golden colour. Sometimes I go for the pink as well, Ooh, if I'm feeling particularly fancy. And I put it on the bit that's got no eyeshadow just there. You see? There we go. I also like to put a little bit on the um, inner bits of my eye because I think it's supposed to make it... It's supposed to. Let's be honest. I'm not a professional. This is just what I do. But I think it's supposed to make your eye look a little bit more kind of popping. Oh, I do worry about myself when I try and, I try and be useful. Okay. There we go. As I say, if I was going like out, out, I'd probably put a lot more brown on. Next thing I use from Soap and Glory, the Smolder Coal. And I put it all the way around my eyelids. So underneath and on the top as well, but just a little bit underneath. Like that. Well, that looks a bit, a bit terrifying. And then on the top as well. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to do something where I have to use the camera because I can't do everything I need to do at the same time. So if you want to screenshot me looking like a moron, now is your chance. So I will get a little smudger. This is just a, a cheap one and I just smudge all the way around the rules I've got. And then smudge the top bit as well. There we go. This is the one I want you to recommend me something better. Um, their Real Push-Up Liner by Benefit is brilliant for staying on. It's really, really good for staying on. But for getting it out, it's nigh on impossible. Me and my sister have had so many discussions, we can't work out how to do it. So again, I'm gonna have to like go. So I do, screenshot away my lovely, screenshot away. So I take it from the end and then I do a little flick. It is brilliant and it really stays on, but it's so difficult to um, get the product out of the Ujima Fliff. There we go. And a tick. There we go. At um, this point, I probably would just have a little look and see if I wanted to add a bit more brown on. And I think I do. Okay, and then finally we have got, I had to ask my mum for this for Christmas. She's like, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, mum, I want better than sex. Uh, it's the Too Faced Mascara and it really is really good. This is kind of like the higher end of the products I've used, but this is the, one of the best mascaras I've ever used. So, cue mouth open again. There we go, my lovelies. Finally, the last thing I like to use is Urban Decay De Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Um, it again stops my makeup from ending up like on my chest as it all melts down my face. So you just close your eyes and it's a very strange sensation, so. It feels all wet on your face and then it dries and it keeps your makeup stuck. So, there we go how I would do an autumn kind of smoky eye. I hope it helps.
helped you a little bit leave if you've got any questions leave them in the comments below about any of the products or anything else or any other kind of makeup tips you want me to do and that is tonight's upload give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it high five if you want to subscribe i will see you again very soon this top is in primark i think was nine pounds it's really nice my husband says i look like a victorian my husband looks like a little bit of an idiot so that's okay i will see you soon guys